Bonjour. Guten Morgen, meine Damen und Herren. It is I, Gordon. Hello. Good to see you. Good morning. For me, it's morning. Um, yeah, we're going to start really getting in, getting into isomerism three this time. And the difference this time, I think, will be, I mean, the, the previous two I had, I'd done a lot of planning for the, the content of the material on paper and stuff, and it was a lot of fun really a lot of fun to work on <clears throat> things like tone rows and stuff like that but um, this one I think I'm just going to have fun with it and um, let rhythm be the guide um, hopefully I'll, you know, I'll try to keep in mind the whole idea of isomers that's kind of makes the whole piece kind of cohere but um, yeah we're just we're going to bust out the telecaster today and uh, yeah so cool I look forward to this. Um, I'm just going to, I think my plan is to just layer ideas and put things together and um, just keep working until it gets boring and then polish it up and end. Uh, but I hope it'll, I hope it'll take uh, several days to do this one. Um, I want to put a lot of details and stuff in it and just have fun. Just like let it grow kind of do the gardening thing instead of the architecture thing because they talk about two ways of putting together a story or could be a piece or anything is you can have a structure like a architect comes up with a blueprint first and then builds within that or it could be like a gardener and, just, and plant seeds here and there and just see how they grow and <clears throat> tend the garden as it goes so I think I'm going to be more of a gardener this time you got to change it up, right? Um, shout out to my buddy Izzy, who is, um, he and I have been talking a lot about music and stuff. I've been dropp dropping by his stream. He's at Effin Izzy. Check him out. Uh, he's got a really great stream going on. Hey, <laughs> there he is. Speak of the devil. Um, there he is. Yeah, we were just talking about you. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Izzy is a composer and a, an educator, and uh, he's got a lot of knowledge about um, music, and um, <laughs> your ears were burning. Great. Um, yeah, he and I have been having these great talks about just all sorts of things. We go off tangent, and uh, when I drop by his chat, he's really, he's he's got a real, um, real thorough knowledge of um of Ableton Live and many other things, but he really, I think, I think a lot of people that I've seen use Ableton Live just kind of scratch the surface on it. They're just kind of using the, the top layer of features, but he knows all about it and he digs right in there and he can pull things out of these sounds just, uh, you, you don't know just the, the, the capabilities of this really powerful program until you watch him work and he just really gets into it yeah he says i'm still learning <laughs> aren't we all but uh yeah I, i'm learning just watching you do your work sir and it's really a lot of fun so okay well welcome i thought i'd do something in your time zone so here we are okay i'm gonna get to work if if i don't get if i don't see your um if i don't see your chat uh then I'm not ignoring you. I just because I'm not, I haven't glanced in that area yet. So I'm just gonna start working. All right. Good to see you, Izzy. So what I've got here are um, I recorded these bass lines yesterday, and I spared you the. Uh, I spared you the, the torture of how long it took to polish these up and kind of make them nice, nicely loopable objects. So. Thank you. 
we've got base A, base B, base B prime, and base C. And what I hope to do is kind of, um, when I'm arranging these, I can loop them and then stack them on top of each other and uh, hopefully come up with composite rhythms from these things. So. like this. Yeah, tonally it doesn't sound great, but I can mess with that. Or I can do this. Of course, they line up perfectly because of how I got it snapped. Okay. That's more of what I'm thinking about. That's that's good. I'll probably make more of these <clears throat> um, in different keys and stuff so that they, they work better. But I want to kind of set up a basic rhythmic framework using I'm just really maybe quarter notes or something or half notes with the Telecaster just now. So I'm just going to throw that down. I'm going to do this um, without the cans because um, <clears throat> the metronome plays in my speakers and not in into the OBS. So, okay. Oh, you've been pining for a tally, yeah? There she is. It's um, it's a real one. <laughs> Made in Mexico, but um, one you know one of the you know it's not a knockoff; it's a Fender plant in Mexico, so it's a little cheaper than the American kind. It's not too old. I, I'm not really sure how old it is, but it's been my workhorse for <clears throat> a lot of time. When I was in a punk band called Cuttlefish, this was this was my this was my main workhorse. Yeah, I like this one. It's it's really built well, and I. I really love how it sounds and I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, you know, a virtuoso guitarist um, <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but um, it worked in the punk band really well. And I had it, um, it's a red body, right? And uh, put the black fingerboard on it because I like um, Joe Strummer from The Clash <laughs> and uh, from <clears throat> this, uh, what's his name, Olga? The, the guitarist singer for Toy Dolls, he's got a guitar like this, or he had one, so yeah. I just love the, the black and red, the black and red. It's very anarchist, <laughs> so yeah.
So I'm going to lay down something very not punky, <laughs> uh, something very basic and rhythmic, just to hang those other bass lines on to give it context. I don't mean to turn my back on the camera too much, but um, I have to play with my pedals back here a little bit. I'm going to keep recording, though. Oh, you had a cherry? Yeah. 70? Oh, nice. <laughs> what happened to it? What happened to your uh, cherry red Fender Strat? Did you sell it? Did it get stolen by Keith Richards? Oh, okay. Fair trade. I can see that. It sounds worth it. <laughs> he says the stupidest move I ever made. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't tell the wife that, okay? That's hilarious. <laughs> well, when she's not looking, you can just kind of nick it back and, you know, see if you can find that strat again. Go back to the pawn shop or wherever you sold it. Okay, okay, shh, shh. <laughs> That's funny. You know, it's so weird to um, to work now. I think this is the f I'm in the ninth session of this, and um, aside from my wife um, watching the stream kind of casually uh, in the background, um, this is the first time I've had somebody actually I know who's actually looking over my shoulder. So it's weird. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but uh, you know, it's easy. Oh, I had my friend Kay, a poet friend of mine, who's who's <clears throat> interested in doing something. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, my, I I heard that my friend, an, another friend of mine, was stopped by and watched while, while I was working, but he didn't say anything in the chat, so I was none the wiser. So I just normal so I have to get used to this a little <laughs> I guess I, the strange thing is um, the strange thing is that um, I 
I kind of like this early stage of having very few followers or very few people who know about it um, because there might be a time when it blows up, you know, relatively. And if I get, you know, 10 people wanting to chat at the same time, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice in the small clus cluster. And I noticed that the, the, the tag within the music category, the tag for composing is very thin. There's not, there are not very many. And a lot of those people are kind of set it up to just automatically, you know, but there's some really cool stuff. It's really cool stuff going on if you look at music um, and then hash the, you know, composing IRL. Yeah, you've seen them, right? There's some really cool stuff going on. Um, some really experimental, neat stuff with uh, automatic kind of randomized playlists and, um, and the way it's all put together. It's really cool. There's one called, um, it's this dude out of Tokyo, and he's got this one called... Um, Oh, help me with it. Maybe you know this one. It's called A New Form of Music. A New Form of Music, all one word. And it's this really cool experiment that he's doing. I assume it's a he. I, I really don't know. Um, could be. I think so. He's got a Twitter feed. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really mind-bending and, and I, I'm fascinated by it. I spend a lot of time just sitting there looking at this thing, even though I know there's probably no one behind the curtain um, usually. And he updates it quite frequently. And uh, it's kind of this, it's storytelling and it's images and it's uh, kind of randomized sounds and it's uh, little snippets of music. And there's this kind of mysterious thing going on where you, there's a story but we're not really sure we're getting these little bits it's about you know Vivaldi in a code and you know Mozart heard the code and he understood it and you know it's little things about Beethoven <clears throat> so yeah it's very intriguing ah oh, maybe yeah, maybe in Max. Mm -hmm. I need to learn that because I'm really interested in in that that kind of thing. That there's a uh, infinite possibilities of what you can do, and um, even if everybody does the kind of random triggering thing, it's n no two are going to be alike because we're all going to put it together, and make different decisions from moment to moment, and it's it it uh, it's, it's really tantalizing to me that idea. So I want to get into that some at some point. Maybe we can do something together. Maybe we can collaborate, something like that. That'd be cool. Lots of presets. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check that out. Okay, I think as long as I have the metronome going, when I record these things, they, they should generally line up. I mean, if something sounds dumb, then I'll edit it. But generally, I think I could, if I just keep that tempo in mind and then don't show 
you know, don't play the metronome in the final track, um, everything should make sense rhythmically. Theoretically. It does, but it's really, um, you know, that thing you are encountering when that the thing you encounter when um, you do the time stretch and you can see how it's how it's working. It takes little snapshots of the sound and it, it ends up sounding like gong 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 gong. Yeah, the the kind of granulated thing. Cubase does that. It has a, a plugin for time stretch, but it's kind of it's cool, but it's not very smooth. I've heard plugins do it better. And I'm using, I'm not using Cubase at the moment. Um, I want, I think Mixbus does. I want, maybe I'll give that a whack. Just because you mentioned it. That's right, yeah, Mixbus. So I'm going to hack off one of these little fragments and then time stretch it. After saving first. Does everything sound right, Izzy? Does everything sound okay? I mean, is are the levels okay? Good to know, thank you very much. I'll just turn up the DAW a bit. Is that better? Thank you very much, that, that's very helpful. When the mix gets louder, then that'll, that'll work too. But yeah, I should keep an eye on these meters in OBS. They really um, did a great job in the sound design for OBS as far as leveling and stuff. Yeah, thanks, man. Now to time stretch. Time stretching for the first time in Mixbus. I'm pretty sure it's in Edit. Ooh, there's Pitch Shift. Am I just not seeing it? I don't see it, but I'm determined now. Yeah, this kind of thing makes great, uh, great content for streams, doesn't it? Just kind of me 
slowly plodding through these <laughs> menus and stuff. I'm just, uh, my, my style is just scintillating. It's, you can't take your eyes off of it. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, <it co> <laughs> thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll try to find uh, later. It's probably something totally simple that I'm just not seeing because I'm looking in the place that I would look for it in Cubase, which is not necessarily the right approach. Yet I can't stop. If this were Photoshop, it'd be transform or something like that, right? <laughs> okay, maybe not. Uh, I'll mess with it some other time. But what I know I can do is reverse it. I thought, well, wait a minute, how come it's gone? Is it properties? Oh, here it is, reverse. Yeah, I think I'm just going to create a bunch of sounds and then arrange them. It was weird stuff. Yep. Sounds like a mosquito going by your ear. Okay, great. Thanks, man. I'm going to look at that. It says... Oh, no. Time FX tool. Got it. I know it. I know where it is. I've seen that. Yep. What a team. Yeah. We are the research team. You're my research team. But you're going to have to accept uh, intern payment, meaning no payment. <laughs> Oh, I did, I did get something called Here's something called Paul Stretch, Paul X Stretch.
Oh, sorry. Paul X Stretch. Oh, there's not much audio evergreen. Just kind of figuring things out. Well, I think I'm going to spare the viewers the my kind of bumbling through these new things. I'll, I'll, f I'll figure these things out off session. Which thing, Izzy? The Paul X stretch or the uh, Time X thing? Looks like something I have to sit down and chew through off off offline, yeah. Uh, this is Mix Bus Six. This is Harrison Mix Bus Six. I would love to get back into Logic Pro. Um, that's a great program. Is that what you use, Evergreen? It is, definitely. I, d I started with GarageBand 2, and um, that's a great place for me to have started, because um, it, it just introduced me to all the basic functions and everything, and things were really simple, and you could do surprisingly a lot with its, even with its kind of limited feature span. Yeah, it's so great. Uh, and I haven't used it in probably 15 years, <laughs> that's about right, uh, since 2005, yeah. That's when I used it first, and then yeah, uh, I I would really love to see what it, what it can do now. Now that it's you know 15 years on, I bet it's great now. Then I moved on to Logic, which is the logical next mm -hmm. step, I guess, from GarageBand. Yep, 
it, it, yeah, you come to a point in GarageBand where you just go, I just, I want to do this, and I, this can't, and then Logic goes, oh yes, you can. Here you go. And you go, yeah, you've been waiting for you all my life. Yep. And Izzy can attest to this, um, but maybe I'll turn this down a bit. Let's let the groove sink in. All <laughs> right, yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, the, the every once in a while, um, even though I like using Cubase, I liked using Cubase, um, I thought, um, yeah, I think it's time to try another DAW, something that's a little more updated. And I didn't have the money to really update my Cubase. I think I was using Cubase 5. <laughs> that's pretty old. Um, so I decided to use something that's that's newer, and so I tried. My friend recommended Mixbus, and yeah, so that's where I am. So I'm I'm still kind of a beginner at Mixbus, and still used to my Cubase habits. And but I think it's good to kind of uh, Izzy and I were talking about this that it's good to change up change up your tools once in a while, just so it gets you to not rely on your old habits so much and you, you know makes you compose differently i totally firm believer in that you gotta change up the, the the toolbox and you make different stuff so whenever i get bored i go i go looking around for free vsts uh, new plugins stuff Uh, mix bus, you mean? New box? I'll let you and Izzy talk while I while I compose. He knows more about it than I do. Sorry, if I tune out for a minute, I'm going to do some more recording.
So I hope I didn't show you guys my my backside. Too much.
Oh, thanks, Evergreen. Yeah, I will we'll definitely check you out. Entering chat mode. Are they hot? Yeah, I had fun making them. It, it, just um, images of uh, short looped images of uh, the ocean or the sun shining off the ocean. I live near a beach and um, uh, just kind of text stuff, layerings, things like that. And the shimmering thing that was before kind of obscures my face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> living near an ocean, you mean? Yeah, I kind of I kind of love where I live. It's really we we uh, we got a good deal um on it when we moved here about 13 years ago. And the place the area has come up a lot, so yeah, it's terrible. It's awful. I hate it. <laughs> Now, Busan is a beautiful place to live. It really is. I mean, it's city. It's got. I complain about the noise and stuff, but uh, generally, uh, it's a. It's got. You've got ocean. You've got beaches. Um, really great forests, walking paths. You've got mountains. It's and the city. That's really pretty cool. 
Oh, you too. Oh, okay. four, four or five miles from the ocean. That's cool. Do you get there much? Oh yeah, okay. I haven't been there in a long time to that area, but some beautiful, beautiful land out there, right? Hermit, yeah. These are the times, right? Did you ever take a picnic basket out there? Hop in the car? The picnic basket? Just checking to see if my school is trying to get a hold of me. Apparently not. Bears. <laughs> oh, gee, Yogi. Was it Ranger Rick? I think was that? Maybe, maybe I'm crossing my, my nostalgia memory wires are crossed, but. Is it Yogi and Boo Boo? And was it Ranger Rick? Getting that wrong. Yeah, I think I think we're probably. I'm guessing that we're more or less the same generation, you and I. If you don't want to tell, I won't tell either. Just how old we are. Roughly. Seventies. All right. Yeah. Generation X in the house. Yeah, I was born in 1970. That makes me 50 this year. Yeah, when you were mentioning things in the other other uh, stream, I guess what we what what was it that dated us? Oh yeah. Since I'm in Korea, then I have to defer to you and bow to you and stuff like that. Laugh at your jokes. <laughs> Oh, you guessed for me, Evergreen, that I was late 70s? Of course, sir. Okay. Hey, I told what year I was born, so you guys, come on, let's have it. Gen X in the house, definitely. We got a we got we got a nice span between us, the, the three of us. All right. So you mentioned uh, that punk is still in you, yeah. So you must have been. In your teens when punk was around. Maybe. Early teens, 13, 14. Oh, I'm sorry, Izzy. Old punk, yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, Evergreen, I have to be more specific. Yeah, I know what you mean. Retire. You want to retire. You had a mohawk at 15. All right. It's my kind of dude. Unfortunately, I, you know, I'd love to have a mohawk now, but it might not matter too much with the COVID and everything. Nobody really sees you. If you put on a hat, nobody will see your mohawk, but... 
I've been cutting my own hair recently, so in the back, it's really kind of, it's, it's dumb in the back, so I don't care because I, nobody sees the back of my head and, <laughs> on the camera anyway, so. Yeah, Mohawk at, you know, af after 50, it kind of means un, you know, unhirable. <laughs> Oh, you do art then? Graphic art? That's cool. Uh, I, I imagine if we hopped by your your um, your link. Oh, on SoundCloud. I'm looking at your site now, man. Oh yeah. Hey, I see a little shimmering ocean on your on your album cover here. Hey, I really like your music, man. It's pretty cool. I'm going to follow you right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really like it. That's really cool. I'm going to listen to it when I have more time and more focus. When I'm not divided, I'm going to give it a good good listen. I think uh, good music deserves that good undivided attention. Okay, I think I'm actually going to do that now. So, yeah, cheers from the UK. Yeah, great. Good. Thank you for dropping by, both of you guys. Um, I'm going to call it for today. We've been I've been at it for an hour, and so... Oh, great. Um, I've never had a, a chat, an active chat before in this. This is my first time doing an active chat. So, I think um, <laughs> I've dealt... I, I think I've come... A, uh, across what I'm going to do about my little how do I you know how do I work and handle chat at the same time I think I'll just let the people in the chat chat with each other while I work <laughs> I think that's going to do all right thanks um yeah if you do you stream evergreen Oh, you should consider it. It's fun. And you have two fans already. Yeah. Yeah, we should build kind of like a... I know we should join the community or start our own little cadre of composers share our wealth of knowledge. All right.
thanks guys um, I really appreciate it um, I'm gonna start my day basically I'm heading into lunchtime so all right thanks a lot Izzy sir as ever good to chat with you I'll, I'll catch your stream again soon and evergreen I'm gonna listen to your music today thanks a lot guys yes you must <laughs> you gotta tend the garden take care guys ciao